Hello, how are you doing? Welcome back to Valheim. Mistland's update is officially out. Have you tried it? If you have, let me know what you think down below. I would love to hear your opinions. But today, we are not talking about Mistland's just yet. It is coming though, trust me. I'm trying my hardest to get you all the Mistland's information as soon as possible. Anyway, we are getting some high tier food today. Lox! Of course, it is easiest to tame and breed our locks and then... Oh, I'm so sorry! And get locks meat from that. But I do get too attached to my own locks. Plus, it is a time-consuming issue with the breeding. You have to wait for them to breathe and also wait for the baby locks to grow up. That is just taking too long. So let's figure out the fastest and less emotional attached way of getting lox meat. And there are a few ways to do so. Let's find a plane that spawns a few lox all the time. There's always a spot like that in your world as well. Now we have a few choices on how we like to deal with them. First is the safest and probably everybody know this by now is to raise up stone floor and make it super high or find a big rock like this like a sharp edge one that they cannot climb up and just shoot them with fire arrows or needle arrows but that's quite expensive we all know how expensive arrows are especially when we're grinding for stuff you know i'm not sure if they have done some changes to the locks recently i do notice that they start running away when they are low on health does anyone notice that as well or am i just being delusional by any case, this will be the safest way, but the most expensive way to do it. Now, I don't want to spend so much arrows. So the second way that I tried is to use the Acker. Most of us probably don't have much experience with it, including me. I did play around with it and thought, okay, cool, maybe I'll use it more. And then I just put it onto my storage and completely forgot about it. <laughs> if the locks are in a group, Use arrows to attract one of their attention. Lure them far away from their friends. What we want to do is using the most basic attack by poking it with the right timing. Move back as it try to bite or stomp us. Poke the locks right after they do the bite attack and move back right away. Don't poke it after the stomps. I always get bit right after their stomping attack. I don't know why. So the best way is to only poke it right after its bite attack. Just like this, move back when it's trying to bite us and poke it right after. If you're really good at parry, it'd be a good combination too. I, for one, can never time it perfectly and it becomes too risky for me, so I tend not to do that. Keep on doing this and we will eventually grind it down soon enough. The last way I found to do it is with the shield plus the frostner. 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 Oh, why did they have to make it so hard to pronounce? Frostner. By blocking their bite attack, hit them three times, parry or block again. Hit three times again, rinse and repeat. Frostner will cause them to freeze for like one to two seconds. That is our window to do our three hit combo. And we'll always want to avoid the stomp attack. And that is three ways to get our lox meat safer and quicker. Hope these tips are useful. Enjoy your lox meat pie. See you next time. Bye.